spring been like? <laughs> this is my first Sunday Mass to preach a homily since March. Since March 15th, our entire world has been turned upside down. A few weeks ago, I was serving with Bishop Kinnaman before we came back, and we were preaching on, online, and I commented to him that I had heard uh, some different people saying that because of COVID and because we were doing uh, the masses live streaming, that suddenly we've all become tele-evangelists. <laughs> Thank God we finally have been able to begin start having our public masses here in the church with the congregation present uh, for the past three weeks now. And even though the attendance is not what it was in March, it is starting to pick up. We pray for all those, first of all, who have contracted uh, COVID-19, and especially for those who have died and for their families. But COVID has also taught us many valuable lessons. For example, we've all learned to cook again, wouldn't you say? We've all learned how to teach school at home. We have learned that we can survive without having social gatherings, even though it's not the same. And I have to ask you, are there any TV shows or movies that you have not watched or live streamed in the last three months? As we hopefully progress into opening up our businesses in our cities, we have to try to keep a positive attitude, although this is definitely not easy. We have to find the good in these situations. For example, because of COVID, most of us have grown closer as families. And even though we have not been able to attend Mass in person, thank God that we have the opportunity to view Mass, both daily Mass and Sunday Mass online and like to welcome all those that are online with us today. One of the bad parts of having been unable to attend Mass in person is that we have not been able to receive the Blessed Sacrament regularly. On this, the solemnity of the most precious body and blood of Christ, we reflect on this most sacred gift that was given to us by Jesus at the Last Supper. Just think, even though he knew that he was leaving the earth soon, he still made it possible for all of us to experience him in the Blessed Sacrament by the celebration of the Mass. Through the liturgy of the Word and the liturgy of the Eucharist, the Word of God is given to us to nourish our minds and our hearts, and the Eucharist is given to us to nourish our bodies and our souls. In today's gospel, Jesus tells his disciples that he is the living bread, come down from heaven, and whoever eats of this bread will live forever. The disciples became distressed when they realized that he would actually be leaving them. But once they truly understood his words as he told them that he, they must eat his body and drink his blood in order to have eternal life, what seemed hopeless to them at that time, at the time of his death, turned into joy and celebration once they realized the true meaning of those words. There are sacrifices that are required for anything that we encounter in our lives. Any situation requires certain sacrifice. For example, a job promotion is a good thing but it may require more hours and less sleep. But the long-term benefits of the promotion far outweigh the sacrifices. Much like the Israelites in the first uh, reading this morning, Moses led them out of Egypt and out of slavery, but into the desert in which they traveled for 40 years searching for the promised land. This sacrifice at the time seemed excessive to the Israelites because they lost faith in both Moses and in God. Even though they turned away from God several times, God showed his compassion and his loyalty to the Israelites by giving them the life-giving manna to sustain them in the desert. Once they arrived in the promised land, 
The sacrifices that they had had to endure were many, but also the rewards were many. We've made many sacrifices during this pandemic as well. We are resigned to having to wear face masks and sanitize our hands frequently. We've been kept away from our church and from receiving the Eucharist until recently. These are serious, life-changing sacrifices, which we find it hard to accept. But when we were finally able to come back into the church and receive the Blessed Sacrament in person, wasn't it a life-changing event for all of us? Did we not think about that experience? We anticipated it for so long. And didn't we pray more to prepare for receiving the Blessed Sacrament? In this situation, the sacrifice was great, but the reward makes us forget the feelings of loneliness and hunger we felt waiting to receive the Eucharist. As we move forward, we have hopes that we will eventually begin to get back to whatever we knew was normal before March. I'm not going to lie, the last three months have taken a serious toll on our physical health, our emotional health, and our spiritual health. In fact, one of my duties at the hospital where I work is to help and provide assistance to our staff members in maintaining and improving our emotional and our spiritual health. People have responded to this pandemic in many different ways. Some have suffered emotionally and spiritually having felt overwhelmed by the changes that have occurred. Some others have done well and have been able to find uh, some sort of balance. During this experience, I've observed a significant increase in public expressions of prayer among our staff. And it's been wonderful to see, especially in a public organization, our staff members are used to dealing with challenges, with change, and with tragedy. It's not that they're not affected, because they are, but many understand that the sacrifice is necessary for anything we do in order to be able to turn the corner and begin recovery and rebuilding. It is important to not only have faith, but also to share that faith with others so that they may benefit from it as well. Sometimes we feed on the positive energy that others put out, and this helps us to overcome our feelings of doubt and loss. We as a faith community should also exercise that same faith and trust that things will get better someday. We have to trust in God that the sacrifices that we have made during this time will pay off in the future and will help us survive and overcome this pandemic. God will save us and he will help us to overcome this. We just need to trust him and we need to remember that he is always with us, truly present in the Blessed Sacrament.